From the Cal Fire Information Center, I'm Daniel Berlant with the Fire Situation Report for Monday, August 9, 2010. Across California, fire activity has been relatively light this past week. Over the weekend, the Sierra saw hundreds of lightning strikes, but unlike the storm from a few weeks ago that resulted in about 200 fires, this round of storms brought with it a significant amount of precipitation. As we take a look now at our statewide fire map, there are currently four major fires burning in the state. Firefighters on all four expect full containment in the next couple days. Over the past week, California has seen mild temperatures for this time of year. In fact, just this weekend, temperatures in some areas were 10 to 15 degrees below average. And as the low pressure sits just north of California, we can expect continued cooler temperatures. On Tuesday, the northeast area of the state is going to see some gusty westerly winds, which will heighten the fire danger for that area. But for the rest of the state, we're going to see our large fire potential driven by dry vegetation rather than critical fire weather. Taking a look now at our fire weather headlines, expect cooler temperatures this week across the state. Gusty winds on Tuesday in northeast California. Down in southern California, breezy afternoons are likely in the Antelope Valley and Mojave Desert. And a deep marine layer will continue to sit over the coastal areas and even inland in some parts of the state. Now last week, there were a number of small vegetation fires that firefighters were able to quickly contain. Many of those fires were caused by unsafe equipment use. All it takes is a simple strike on a rock from a metal blade of a lawnmower weed eater, and a new fire can start. If you're going to use powered equipment around dead grass and brush, remember, do it before 10 a.m. and never on a dry or windy day. That's the latest on the fires in California. I'm Daniel Berlant. Thanks for watching.